Hello folks and welcome back to our Tesla powered BMW E31 build. So today we are going to be working on our Chevy Volt Opel Ampere battery and getting it ready for installation into the car. We will also be showing you how to communicate using CAN bus with the built-in BMS system. But before we can do any of those, of those fun pack things we have a bit of a problem. Let me show you. So we had some bad weather here recently and I had to very quickly move the battery from where I had it parked here um, up to here because this area of the workshop had been completely covered in snow. So anyway, now we need to move the battery back down the way a bit so that I can work on it. And I think you might get a guess as to how I'm going to do that. As you can see, I have some rollers under the battery, and I have a tow line attached here to this strap, and... folks so thanks to the um, power of diesel and its uh, incessant smell that I'm still trying to get out of my throat we have our battery uh, moved down to a more accessible lo location so first things first we're going to show you guys how we talk to the BMS so this battery the total of 96 cells in it um, each battery module has a BMS board where you see these orange and black plugs connecting. Um, they are daisy chained in a loop and they come all the way back so all the modules connect together. They come back up here to the kind of brains of the operation which is in this box here which is this BMS controller. Now we'll be getting into that soon, but in the meantime, just want to show you guys how we connected the BMS. So this wiring bundle here carries all of our uh, data and it plugs into the top connector on the BMS. So what I've done is I've disconnected that and we've connected an Arduino GUI um, running the Savican GV RET system. Um, and we've connected four wires to our BMS plug. So I'm going to try and show you guys what we've got here. It's the four bottom, uh, the four bottom connectors on the right hand side as you look at it in the shot. Uh, going from left to right, uh, we have can high, can low, ground, and a five volt reference uh, signal. So that is all you need to connect to the Volt BMS. Um, so what we've got here is we say our Arduino GUI uh, connected over USB up to a laptop here where we're running SavvyCan. And on SavvyCan we have taken a snapshot of all of the... Uh, let me get a better shot for you guys. Um, we've taken a snapshot of all of the CAN data uh, from our BMS and I'm running a DBC file here which is basically decoding 
the CAN messages into kind of meaningful cell voltages and temperatures. Uh, the cell voltages read perfectly, the cell temperatures read crazy, so I've still got to do some more work on that DBC file. Um, <clears throat> rather not say where I got this from, I don't know if it's public domain or not, uh, but I will be making it available. Uh, I'll set up a GitHub page for this whole volt battery thing. And I'll uh, post a link in the description to that and you'll be able to get this DBC file. So we're able to see here, for example, cells 1, 2 and 3 are uh, indeed very close together in voltage. And you can go down here, so there's cell 15 to 18, 23 to 26. We'll be able to see they're all pretty much bang on, nearly 3.6 volts. Um, so to show you how to get a capture on this, Basically, we'll just clear the frames here again. You want to have your DBC loaded. Overwrite mode, uh, we actually probably want to have off in this case. Interpret frames, you want to have ticked with your DBC file loaded. And to get a burst of the frames, uh, what we do is we simply disconnect the 5 volt reference uh, signal. Uh, wait a couple of seconds and then reconnect. And that will trigger the modules to send a can dump and we'll basically get our uh, yeah we basically get our cell voltages and I think there's some temperatures in there but as I said they're kind of just reading nonsense at the minute um, so there we go guys that is how to read uh, the volt BMS now as I say, I'm not sure how much of this info is already available. I'm just finding this stuff out myself. Um, so that's all you really need to connect to the cell modules themselves. Now, so what I'm going to have to do in order to use this battery in the Panzer um, is I'm going to have to break it down a bit because we brought the cover down to the car there about a week ago. And although this part here would certainly fit, the long part would fit, you know, a little bit down the tunnel and uh, in the engine bay. This T piece here is just too um, is just too wide to fit between the frame rails of the car. So we're going to have to split the pack here anyway, um, and I'm going to have to get into the BMS at this stage so that we can see. Uh, what's going on here so we can start making our own controller for it um, obviously it's great just to have the Arduino be able to connect in and prove that we have a good uh, battery going on there um, alrighty guys I'm going to leave it there for this episode I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, so our next episode on this we're going to be tearing into this uh, assembly on the battery so we can get it to fit the panzer um, okay so don't forget to like subscribe and share check those links in the description for my patreon and uh, github uh, pages uh, we will see you in the next video and happy bms can bus communication oh one last thing meant to say CAN bus runs at 125k.